Hi, today I wanted to record a quick guide to explain some issues surrounding the uh, Ubisoft Connects uh, service integration in Lutris and how to uh, work around some, uh, those, some of those issues and how to um, correctly use this, this service to have the best experience possible with uh, Ubisoft Connects. Uh, so there's a few um, weird things um, happening with uh, this integration. Uh, the first thing that we'll notice is like here I've logged in into Ubisoft Connect with Lutris. Uh, so here we log out, I log back in and I see that I have Uplay installed. So let's just for this test move it, rename the, the Uplay folder here, which is where I have all my Ubisoft Connect games. So I log in into Ubisoft Connect. And here we see that there are some games, but that's not all, all my games. It's missing a bunch of stuff. So it, it has some, some games that uh, most of them are missing. So if we do that again, and this is where I have my Uplay installation. So we log out and we log back in again. So the, the login is so recent that it just saved my, uh, my cookie and everything. So I don't have to log back in. And now it's going to take a bit longer. And what's, when it's finished, you'll see that is going to be a whole different C. Now it has all, all the games, um, even like demos, like uh, games that I've only played, like a uh, like flashback demo. Uh, I think that that was for a free uh, free weekend. I don't even own this game, but yeah. Anyway, uh, there are all the games. So you need to to have Ubisoft Connect installed. Um, and you have to be logged in to Ubisoft Connect for it to um, to detect all your games. So I'm going to to launch Ubisoft Connect, um, and you'll see that this is where it's getting. So if you have games installed in Ubisoft Connect, um, Lutris will detect them and mark them as installed here. So um, you can either uh, double click on, on one of those games and this will um, mark them as installed in, in, um, in Lutris and then ask you to install, install them in, in Ubisoft Connect. Or you can do the opposite and um, install the game in Ubisoft Connect. Then you hit that refresh button here in the sidebar. Uh, and then you should be good. Of course, I mean, there's some crashes with Ubisoft Connect. That's not uh, that's not really rare. Let's see if it still crashes. I had it running, so just have to to um, retry it a few times. If if you get a crash, just try it a bunch of times, and you should be good to go. Uh, but yeah, it's not the most stable software in, um, on Linux. See, it seems to be good. Now, uh, I don't want that. Um, and sometimes, so I'm going to, to um, touch on this, uh, like maybe not now, but later. So you have this window stuck on initializing. Yeah, it seems to be doing that. So I'm going to talk about it now. So here it seems to be stuck. And this happens either for uh, launching games or um, installing them as well. So it doesn't happen for like older games, but it's, it tends to happen on newer ones. Um, so you could give it some time and sometimes it does resolve, but what I do is usually close this and then just uh, launch the game from, uh, from the menu here and that will work. Okay, um, and it's the same thing for installing games. So, for example, if I want to install Far Cry Primal, uh, 
I'll select this tool. And now it's, um, it didn't it didn't uh, launch the install process in Ubisoft Connect, so that's that's a bug in, in Nutris. Um, it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to uh, launch Ubisoft Connect and launch the install of the game. See, it is, it crashed again, so I'm going to launch it again. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Um, yeah, it's supposed to launch the actual install instead of just saying, "Okay, this is this is install." Uh, why does it? keep it says it's still running see I mean, it's not the, the most um, stable service like the, all the other ones are most, like even origin which has some some issues i mean a whole bundle is broken at the moment but uh epic game store is is good gog is is uh, really nice like the other ones, like Steam, you don't even need to trace for, for Steam. Um, so, let's try one more. Let's see, configure. Oh, it's running with an old version. Maybe it's in a regression with the... No, it, it works. So see, it's going to get stuck on this installation uh, window. So close it. Um, then open the client with, with this. Um, and then you have to install it like here. And this will work. So the Ubisoft Connect client has also some, uh, let's install this some focus issues um, on the GNOME desktop. I think it doesn't have them on the KDE desktop, but you'll notice them like on the GNOME desktop. If you want to to, uh, to focus like Lutris, for example, like here I'm, I'm clicking on Lutris stuff, but the Ubisoft Connect windows, they keep popping up. So if you want um, to be able to do anything on your desktop or even play games, you have to go and minimize them. See, so there you you have your access to your desktop. Otherwise, if you don't do that, I mean, they just don't go away. I mean, you, you can't get rid of them. They're always on top. And for some reason, that's only a problem on the, on the GNOME desktop. So, yeah, I think that's that's about it for the um, all, all you need to know for the Ubisoft Connect service. Um, it's not perfect, but also I've been able like to finish uh, Far Cry 4 really recently. I mean, when you get those games installed, and then you're good to go. Once uh, I've played like Far Far Cry 4 on the the Steam Deck as well. So that integration worked well on the Steam Deck. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit a pain of uh, like to to install games and and get them to run. But once you know how to work around those issues, uh, then it shouldn't be as hard. It's just that you have to know all the stuff, and once you know them, you're good to go. Hope it was helpful and uh, helps you going with the Ubisoft Connects. Integration Lutris.